Keeping your dog healthy is a motherfucker. We on YouTube now, so I could use all kinds of good words. That being said, the pancreas. Ah, damn. The fucking book. I ain't got my book over here. Don't matter. In the book, as far as she wants to be done with these pups. <laughs> In the book, when you start reading about the digestive system, uh, what you learn very quickly is that right after it talks about the small intestine, the pancreas is brought up. Pancreas, what does it do? Cyst and giving the body enzymes it needs to help break down. What? Carbs, proteins, fats. Now here's the thing about a dog, right? A dog does not have amylase, which is an enzyme that the pancreas produces in like triplets in a dog because the dog doesn't need carbohydrates to survive. It doesn't have amylase, so it can't produce, can't break down starches, or can't break down starches in abundance for sure. So what does it happen? Our dogs enrich their sugar. They enrich their system with, with sugar. And what happens when there's too much sugar in the blood? Insulin spikes, and then your body's overworking itself. And then in some cases, like Zara has, and we've done other videos, not on here, you get yeast infections, which become a real thing. So, what are some things you could do? to assist in keeping the pancreas healthy so you can, can ensure that your dog has a great digestive system, which means it's gonna grow as well, people. So, garlic. I know if people don't like garlic, I will attach a link in this video of Dr. Karen Becker and this other uh, doctor does a great job of breaking it down. Garlic is actually a natural flea and tick repellent. Takes about two weeks. And if you use it, half a teaspoon per 20 pounds. Your dog literally, even if you go back to a study done by an Asian, um, I forgot what he's, Asian doctor over there, 20 years ago, where they thought garlic was bad for dogs, but he didn't say, he, he realized it wasn't bad, he just didn't like some of the stuff that saw, he saw. But garlic is like one, one of those other things that's like God's gift to earth. So it helps with fleas and ticks, all helps. It helps sugar in the blood, which means reduce the sugar in the blood, and stimulates your pancreas to get to produce the hormones slash stuff that it needed to help break down food. Spinach reduces inflammation. Also another trick with spinach is if you get the right bag of spinach, it's got about 84 milligrams of calcium in it. Now, spinach is what we call also a free food. What is a free food? A free food is a food you can eat all day because the caloric intake or the caloric value is zero. So it's like drinking water. Water will fill you if you drink too much, but guess what, it won't do, outside of the nutrients in spinach, it's a free food. Like salsa is a free food. If I can remember correctly, I believe mustard. Go look at how many calories are in mustard. Your mustard bottle in your house. Free food. Not when it says zero calories. And what is a calorie? A calorie is a unit of energy. When you don't expand or when you don't expend, aka go run, walk, do something with that little energy that you ingested, be it 200 calories, 300 calories, it expands. What happens when it expands? You get fat. So, Broccoli helps detoxify. It's got sulfur and sulfur and all those things. These are just three things. They're like 15 foods that you can use. But mind you, garlic. I repeat, garlic is not an onion. It has onion-like traits. But onions are toxic to dogs. Toxic means it could cause a lot of bad things to take place. We'll talk about the three to five things that are super toxic to dogs in the future because nutrition is very important to me. But as I've been breaking down trying my best to educate people about the importance of making sure the dog's system runs proficiently so that you can get some of the results that I'm trying to get. Ensure that the dog grows up strong, happy, and healthy. I said to myself, huh, so if the digestive system itself is doing its thing, how do we keep the digestive system running? Well, one of the first things we're addressing again is the pancreas. It plays a huge role. Your dog needs a good pancreas, and when it's doing the exact opposite of what it was designed to do, and designed to do, hey man, what do, you, what do you think ends up happening? What I'm saying is, a dog's pancreas assists primarily in breaking down proteins and fats. It and, and real digestion begins here uh, with proteins and lipase, which help down break of protein and fat. No amylase production begins here, and very little to none in the dog's pancreas. I don't even know if I'm pointing to the right direction. I'm a human. So you want to keep this thing doing what it's supposed to do and ensure that it stays healthy so it can do what it, do what it does best. And that's broke, break down the stuff that the dog needs to ensure a happy, healthy, long life. You've got questions, comment below. Like, subscribe, share. I'll be doing a long 
uh, list of videos specific to nutrition and things we can do to better our dogs. I'll be linking things in our community page, promoting other videos as well that educate me and make sure I'm, I'm, I'm informed. But I've got the books. If you've been following the YouTube or the, the IG primarily at this moment in time, the TikTok, I'm reading every day, learning as much as I can to better myself, my dogs, and the community. So, as always, take care of your dogs. Stay tuned.